It's great. Yeah. It's really great. Yeah. Um, I was really looking forward to this. I, for whatever reason, Loaded's playing here four gigs mm -hmm. in total. And yeah. No other band, as we just talked about, no other band I've been in has played four shows exactly, yeah. in a row in France. And um, I did a couple pretty big interviews when the record came out, uh -huh. French interviews. And I was kind of surprised and, and got some good reviews and some good press. The, the Guns or Velvet, when I was in them, mm -hmm. we never really kind of got that much attention or yeah, that, yeah? In, in France. I don't know why. I'm yeah, no well, because France is not like, you know, really like a rock, rock and roll country, yeah. you know, yeah. like maybe Germany or you know, the UK or even right. the US. So mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's nice to, to have you here um, with your new album. Um, I know some French people read my, my column. I have yeah. some commentators to the Seattle, Seattle Weekly. Weekly. Yeah, um, so if any, anybody reads my column for Seattle Weekly, they probably get an um, inclination to what my writing voice is. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's kind of like my columns, but it's a book. Obviously, okay. it's, it's a whole story. It's longer than a thousand words. Um, so my book really is about, I, I, I'm sure I tell news stories that nobody's ever heard about that stuff, mm -hmm. but it's really about my story, about my, my slow fall yeah. into addiction. Your personal experience. Yeah, my, my fall into addiction mm -hmm. and my way out. Now, my fall into addiction, of course, coincided with um, when I was really bad, was the Use Your Illusions tour and, yeah. and uh, and then when I fell all the way down, it was right when that came out, I ended up in the hospital and, and I got sober and that's when we were trying to put another record together. Mm -hmm. And so getting sober and dealing with this, the paradigm, the, 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 the kind of a new paradigm of, of Guns N' Roses, it was like kind of, it was falling apart. Mm -hmm. I, I was putting myself back together. So there was a juxtaposition there uh -huh. and I saw kind of, um, my role changed a lot once I got sober. It was like, oh, everybody was coming to me like, yeah. you've got to fix this thing. I'm like, well, I got to fix me first, you know? Yeah, and, and also uh, like, you know, having a family, you know, your kids. And your then that, kids, yeah, yeah. And dad, and so of course, all these things together, it's... Uh, yeah, so I try to talk, at least it's my personal story, my personal journey. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's wrapped around rock and roll for sure, but my life is not defined solely by the rock bands I'm in. Yeah. And um, it was a really nice thing for me to discover once I was like 32. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm not Duff, the punk rock guy, mm -hmm. you know? But I'm not Duff from Guns N' Roses. I'm actually just me, Yeah. you know? And I do these other things. Um, and that was a real sort of a breakthrough for me. But I, you know, rock and roll is my, my Made my main passion is the thing I do. It's the only thing I'll leave my yeah. wife and kids for, and, and come over here and, and go on tour because yeah. I love it so much, and my family knows I love it so much that um, that's the trade-off. You know, mm -hmm. like Dad'll be around a lot when I'm home. I'm home all the time, but when I'm gone, they they know that you know. Yeah, uh, it's okay. On the road for a few weeks. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So by the time we finished Illusions, and we had all of those songs, we had to get it. Matt Swarm came in right at the end, right before we made those records. So there's Matt. We finished all these songs that none of us really knew all the way. Like me and Slash probably knew them all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Axel was still writing lyrics and stuff. Mm -hmm. and so so by the time we went out on the Illusions tour, which was we, we went out on that tour, if you remember, mm -hmm. before the records came out. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, we didn't have time to really, like, know the song. stop yeah. and go, okay, let's rehearse, mm -hmm. breakdown, and, the, and Axel, I mean, all of a sudden, Axel had four records worth of stuff to sing. Yeah. So now, we had just come off of Appetite, we had one record. Mm -hmm. We had put out the patience, you know, the, 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 yeah, the, the, the double side. Yeah. 
nice. the live thing, and, uh, and then we put out two records, usually those are one and two. Yeah. So, like for us, we could have, like Coma, we played it one time, we, we had, there were songs we would do at Soundcheck just to play, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Locomotive we, we had down, we were, we would have been ready to play that at any time, but the world and the, the, the popularity of that band took off way faster than we, mm -hmm. we were just playing catch up mm -hmm. most of the time. Yeah, I understand. Okay. You know, in a perfect world, we would have stayed off the road yeah. for another year and got everything kind of together. Mm, all together. And all right, we lost a drummer. Yeah. We have a new drummer. Yeah. Is he sober? Me and Slash aren't. There's a lot of things going on here. Mm. You know, maybe we should take stock, but things were just moving too fast. Oh, okay. Yeah, in retrospect, I can look back and go, ah, here's what we should have done, uh, but course, life doesn't work yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we were like 20. Oh, yeah, five years old. Uh, I hate to even talk about it because I don't want any of my words to be taken out of context. Okay. Yeah. And that's the problem. Mm. Um, no, I had a wonderful time playing with him. I had a gr great time seeing him again for the first time in a long time. Yeah. And, and that was a private moment. Yeah, that just was private. for you and, and Now, if we would have just stayed there, it would have been left private. But because yeah. I went and played that night, so that the whole world. Perfect, but, and, yeah, like the whole fucking world. I, well, I played on the last few Izzy records. Yeah. Um, and so, yes, I play with him. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, just in the studio and. and uh, I, I see as we go to dinner, like, you know, our wives, we're, we're just friends. Yeah. Know, like friends. That's good. So, so you, you get to do the relationship with them. Of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Stephen, I saw in, I saw a few weeks ago, uh, something, I forget, uh, in LA, at some gig. And um, I, I was in London, again, I go to London quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I saw as a play. I mean, it's Steven. Steven play, yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, he was in France a few months ago, and we interviewed him from the side for the yeah. side too. Yeah. He's a really cool guy. And yeah. Really yeah. enjoy it. And very nice. Sweet guy. Yeah. I I didn't. I just recognized it as a, a great, a really good rock record. Yeah. And um, uh, I was happy. For Axel, that the record finally got that out and got it out of the system. Um, it's gonna be a struggle. I know, you know, it could be a struggle. Any artist putting a record out. Yeah. Um, it could be a struggle. So uh, I was just happy for him to finally get it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, could you say something in French for us? Do, do you. Uh... You know a few words, maybe. Bonjour. Could, could, you could you say ça? Could you say La France, je t'aime. La France, je t'aime. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thank you.